Hello and welcome to ABCO. My name is Gareth and today we're going to run through the STR 1300 battery sweeper. We're going to cover off on the key uh, points of the machine, the benefits, the usage, maintenance and troubleshooting. So first we're going to go through the key features of the STR 1300 battery sweeper. Uh, this machine is German made, so really good quality. It's got a couple of really interesting features. So one of them is the twin roller brush system running through the center of the machine where one brush is slightly elevated from the other. This with a really powerful vacuum motor means that we can pick up large objects up to the size of a Coke can and then the really small dust particles as well. So German made, okay, gel filled tires. So we have non-marking gel filled tires. We don't have to fill these up. It's got self-retracting side brushes. So what that means is you can go all the way up against an edge of a wall or a curb and these will give slightly and you can go all the way up. You don't have to worry about them snapping off or breaking. They're really good for climbing up ramps or elevations. It's got a multi-surface usage, so you can use it on carpet, you can use it indoors and outdoors. It's chain driven instead of belt driven, which means you're gonna have less moving parts, less things that we need to service and replace. It's gonna save you money over time. And it has a high performance suction system for reduced dust discharge. It also has a higher dump feature, which means that the hopper can automatically be lifted while the driver sits in the seat up over a skip bin up to 1280 millimeters high. So they're gonna automatically empty that into the bin and then it could be put away without the driver having to leave his chair. It has 150 litre hopper capacity. And as the name would suggest with the STR 1300, it has a 1300 mil sweep path. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the operation of the STR 1300 right on sweeper. First thing to note is it has a sensor in the seat. We need 20 pounds of weight on at all times, otherwise it will cut out as a safety feature. Next thing is we've got our handbrake. It has a foot brake as well, but the handbrake does need to be put in to park position when, we, when we've stopped for the day. Okay, and then released. It has an emergency stop button on our right hand side if you do get into trouble. And then it has a key switch on the top to turn it on and off. So we do need to turn it on and off with the key switch. On the top as well, it has an hour meter and a battery indicator light. Now this machine comes with an external charger. Um, we simply lift up the seat to the side and plug in the Anderson plug, leave the machine on, on charge overnight. Um, for the front brushes, it has a right button and a left button on the top here to turn these brushes on. It also has a button here for the twin roller system underneath us, which does all of the heavy lifting and the work. And then it has a vacuum button as well, okay? That's gonna take us into the operation. The last thing we do before we start is we lower our brushes to the floor and it's important that we raise them again uh, once we've finished using it and we're storing the machine, okay? So there's a lever on the right hand side for the twin roller brushes underneath. And then there was a right button and a left to lower manually the front two sweep brushes. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about maintenance uh, of the STR 1300 right on sweeper. Depending on usage, we wanna service this machine roughly three to six monthly, okay? One of the things we really wanna look out for for any kind of sweeper is plastic wrap. If you get plastic wrap caught around the front or twin roller brushes, it's really hard to fix. Um, you have to take the brushes off, soak them in hot water for them to go back into their natural state. So we try and avoid plastic wrap wherever we can. That's one key tip. Another key thing with this machine is, is the charging system. So it's very, very simple. We simply lift up the seat and we connect the external charger to the Anderson plug underneath the seat and we leave it on charge overnight. Now the machine has a really, really good filter system. It also has a button on the top to make life easier for us. So what we're gonna do is we simply press and hold the filter shaker for two to three seconds after we've finished for the day. And what that will do is it will shake the filter into the hopper so we don't have to clean the filter as often. But I do recommend you clean the filter about once every three to four weeks, dependent on usage. To do that, there's two clips at the back here. We simply undo the clips, lift the lid up, and then we can remove the filter if needed or just give it a good vacuum out as required. 
we're going to talk about troubleshooting. Usually it's one of two things. So the first and most common thing is that there's not enough pressure on the seat, which causes the machine to shut off as a safety feature. So make sure that the driver is sitting firmly on the seat, not leaning too far forward or lifting up. The next thing is one of the five circuit breakers on the machine may have tripped, okay? So the first thing we have to do is lift up the seat. Very simple, it also has an automatic safety catch underneath. So just lift this up like so. And the next thing we're gonna do is open up this side panel, okay? So there's a little red lever just on the right hand side at the front. We just drop that down and we open up the side panel here, okay? And just under here, there are five circuit breakers. So one for each of the brushes, the motor, and the sweeping function. So if you have any troubleshooting issues, each machine comes with a QR code on the side. And what we do is we're gonna scan that and that can take us to the step-by-step -step guide on what might be wrong with your machine. It'll also take you into contact with customer service or you can book in a service if you do need to. Other than that, thank you for watching.